Early morning, Heathrow Airport. The incoming flights from around the world start the airport's busy day. Every day throughout the year, over a thousand flights, one every 50 seconds, will take off or land at this, the busiest international airport in the world. Heathrow handles more international aircraft arrivals and departures than any other airport worldwide. Used by over 90 airlines, serving more than 200 destinations, the four terminals cater for over 58 million passengers a year. To keep up with the ever-increasing passenger load, the British Airports Authority has an investment program of over £350 million a year on customer service developments alone. One of the most important operations undertaken at any airport is the pushing back of aircraft from the terminal buildings and the towing of aeroplanes across the airport to and from the maintenance and parking areas. The Douglas Kalmar range of tow barless tractors, such as the TBL 280 and the TBL 400 Tagmasters, with their revolutionary hydraulic cradle assembly, are the latest innovation in the movement of aircraft. Transmission of power from the Tagmaster to the aircraft is very much smoother for both the aircraft and passengers than the conventional method. The conventional method is the use of the tow bar tractor, which requires a crew of three people, a tractor driver and two crew, to handle and connect the tow bar, coordinate communications between the flight deck and ground crew, and to act as wing walkers as the aircraft is pushed out. Different sizes of tractor and types of tow bar are required to handle the many different types and sizes of aircraft. Before manoeuvring the aircraft, the ground crew have to select the correct size of the tractor required, drive to the tow bar parking area, select the correct tow bar, head back to the terminal departure gate, disconnect the tow bar and couple it up to the aircraft nose gear. Once the aircraft has been pushed back ready for takeoff, the tractor crew disconnect the tow bar and return it to the tow bar parking area. Select another tow bar and a different size of tractor for the next type of aeroplane to be handled and then head back once more to the terminal. The tow bar method is a time-consuming and potentially hazardous and costly operation. Difficulties with the conventional tractor and tow bar include injury to staff whilst connecting and disconnecting tow bars from aircraft. The tow bar is designed with a pin that will shear if stress or angle between the tractor and the aircraft is too great. This is necessary to protect damage to the aircraft but can and has resulted in serious accidents and injury. The worst being a breakaway when the aircraft fails to stop after becoming disengaged from the tractor. The Douglas Kilmar TBL 280 and TBL 400 Tugmasters have been developed in close collaboration with British Airways, leading aeroplane manufacturers, the regulatory authorities and other leading airlines for both day and night operations. They can either be a one or two man operation depending on the particular needs of the airline and the airport environment. The TBL's faster towing speeds enable air traffic control to slot them in with taxiing aeroplanes, shortens towing times and makes crossing runways much easier. The tow barless tractor's advanced design concept gives airlines and ground handling companies greater operational flexibility. This, together with low maintenance and running expenses, provides significant opportunities to reduce operational costs, making this new type of Tugmaster a very attractive proposition. The TBL 280 Tugmaster can handle a range of aircraft, including the Boeing 737 to 777 and the entire Airbus and McDonnell Douglas range. The TBL 280 can handle aircraft fully loaded with passengers and cargo, weighing up to 300 tons and with nose wheel weights of up to 35 tons. The unique design of the cradle assembly on the Tugmaster, operated by a single joystick control, makes handling of aircraft a simple operation. The hydraulically operated cradle consists of a scoop and locking gate which adjusts to suit different aircraft nose wheel diameters. The Tugmaster's cradle lifts the aircraft nose wheel before pushback or towing commences using the nose wheel weight to develop traction. 
The cradle is free to oscillate plus or minus 10 degrees. To cater for the geometric path taken by non-perpendicular nose gear struts when the aircraft is being manoeuvred. The operational procedure is simple. The tugmaster approaches the aircraft, the operator then lowers the cradle to its stops, which lays it just clear of the ground. Selecting the type of aircraft which is about to be manoeuvred, the operator presses the appropriate button, which adjusts the hydraulic cradle to the aircraft nose wheel configuration and then opens the cradle gate. If the wrong nose wheel size is selected, the tractor shuts down and a warning device alerts the driver who must resequence the system before continuing the operation. All cradle operations are interlinked and inhibited and can only be operated in sequence. When the gate is fully opened, the operator continues the approach to the aircraft making sure the nose wheel is positioned between the undercarriage guides. The cradle scoop then docks with the aircraft nose wheel, which can be felt and visually seen by the operator via two video cameras, which are mounted alongside the hydraulic cradle, transmitting pictures of the operation to a monitor in the driver's cab. The tugmasters can dock with aircraft just prior to pushback and whilst passengers are still boarding. As soon as the aircraft boarding bridge or passenger stairs are withdrawn, the cradle raises the nose wheel to approximately 200 millimeters above ground, sufficient to take the aircraft nose wheel weight for traction and pushback. At the end of the pushback, the cradle is lowered, the gate is opened, and the tractor is withdrawn from the aircraft. It can then be moved on to handle different types and sizes of aircraft. And all the operator has to do is adjust the position of the cradle scoop by selecting the next type of aircraft from the controls within the cab. The larger and more powerful Tugmaster, the TBL 400, is designed to operate with aircraft fully loaded with passengers and cargo of up to 400 tons with the nose wheel weights of up to 45 tons. The range of aircraft the TBL 400 can handle includes the DC-10, MD-11, L-1011, Boeing 767-747-777, and the Airbus A330, A340, A300, and A310. The Tugmasters can use a conventional tow bar to handle smaller aircraft, up to the Fokker 100 size, which are not suited to current TBL operations, and, if required, the 400 can use a conventional tow bar to operate with aircraft up to the size of a Boeing 767. There are many fail-safe features designed to eradicate operator errors or mechanical malfunctions on the Tugmaster range. An interlocked gate, which prevents unintentional opening of the cradle mechanism when the aircraft nose wheel is in the raised position. There is also the hydraulic cradle system, which will not operate when the locking gate and safety bars are open. Emergency electro-hydraulic and manual override systems, which allow the nose gear to be released from the tractor in case of vehicle failure. In-cab warning lights indicate if the operator has selected the wrong aircraft nose wheel size. And an in-cab indicator and video cameras mounted alongside the cradle show when the nose wheel is in position and all the cradle operational procedures are correct. An in-cab warning siren and two red indicator lights activate should the operator oversteer the aircraft nose wheel. The oversteer warning system also illuminates a red light on the tractor's cab roof as a warning to the flight crew. The tractor and oversteer warning system then have to be reset by an authorized person before the operation can recommence. Also, the aircraft steering system and nose gear need to be checked by an aircraft engineer. These and many other safety features make the Douglas Kilmar Tugmaster range of tow barless tractors the most efficient, safe and reliable high performance aviation ground support equipment operating at airports around the world. The tow barless Tugmasters have been especially adapted for the nighttime movement of aircraft around the airport. Once the passengers have disembarked and the cargo has been unloaded, the aircraft will need to be moved from the terminal gate 
to make way for the arrival of the next airplane. The conventional method of the night movement of aircraft with a tow bar tractor requires a two-man crew, plus a third person on board the aircraft to monitor the power and operate the brakes should the tow bar become disconnected or a shear pin fail. Once the tow bar has been connected to the nose wheel, a ground power unit on board the tow bar tractor is plugged into the aircraft to power up its electrical system to enable the aircraft's navigation lights and anti-collision beacons to be switched on and the aircraft's braking system to be charged up and other related systems activated. This is monitored by the crew member in the cockpit as the tractor and crew push back and tow the aeroplane. In common with most tow barless tractors in other countries, the Douglas Tugmasters have been fitted with a strobe lighting configuration mounted on the operator's cab. The system has been designed and developed by Darmstadt University, Heller and Lufthansa at Munich and Frankfurt airports. The strobes have been designed to give the correct green and red sense and they illuminate the leading edges of the wings, engine nacelles and undercarriage. In addition, the red rotating beacons on the tractor's cab make sure the towed combination is easily identified by the unique light pattern. This system dispenses with the requirement to fit a ground power unit to the tug, thereby reducing tow times, exhaust emissions and noise pollution. Before the system was introduced into the United Kingdom, all the interested parties in the UK met with and were briefed by their German counterparts. The Civil Aviation Authority nominated Tony Smith, an aircraft lighting expert from the Defence Research Agency, to review the strobe light system. He reported that the strobe lighting system was generally better than the standard aircraft lighting when under tow, and from no angle was it worse. Several health and safety trials have been carried out both here and in Germany with the strobe lights, and all confirmed that there are no health and safety problems of any sort. The system has been operating in Germany for the last two years, without incidents or complaints from the pilots, air traffic control or the workforce. Many other countries around the world are now introducing the system, where tow barless tractors are used. Additional lighting could be added to the tractor if regulations at airports around the world require it. By the year 2001, London Heathrow Air Traffic Control expect to have the technology to enable TBLs equipped with ESMO transponders to indicate which aircraft they are towing, their destination and their present position on the airfield to within a metre. Over 400 tow barless tractors, many fitted with strobe lighting, are operating at airports around the world. They offer the ultra-competitive and cost-conscious world of the airport and aircraft operations significant opportunities to reduce operating budgets and provide a safe and efficient service.